down in Texas at a three-generation-old smokehouse overseen by a pitmaster who's been smoking meats for over 40 years. Arby's brisket is smoking for 13 long, hot, dark hours. Seems like a lot of effort to put into something like a cut of meat. Seems that way because it is that way. And it is that way because it's Arby's. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm Dr. Jan Robbins from the Denova La Follette Medical Center, and we're all fall. Watch Everyday Solutions this week with professional case management. Watch Ted Hall, weeknights on Local 8 News at 11. Celebrating the game before the game. It's the Big Orange Tailgate Show. Brought to you by Lexus of Knoxville. It's easier than you think. Fans Financial. And by Pizza Hut. Make it great. Now, here's your host, Alan Williams. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Big Orange Tailgate Show. The volunteers traveling to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Man, it is Bama week. That's all you have to say, right? We're also here, courtesy of Buddy Greg, in this beautiful fifth wheel with a nice little fireplace behind us as well. First of all, though, a reminder about tomorrow's game. The game in Alabama kicks off at 3.30 Eastern time right here on WVLT and CBS. After the game, we invite you to stay with us on Local 8 Sports for highlights and a Analysis. And here's what's ahead as the Vols match up with Alabama. We'll introduce you to a Vol superfan who resides on the river from August through December. Now, if the Vol Navy has a captain, gosh, he's it. And our tailgate recipe this week is a game day chili with a barbecue twist perfect for this cooler weather. And we're going to introduce you to one Vol fan who found a unique way to pay tribute to the Big Orange with an original song. But first, we want to get you up to date on the weather with Kyle Granger from the weather here all the way down to Tuscaloosa. Kyle? Making sure you're prepared for the weather. The Big Orange Tailgate Game Day Forecast. Good evening to each and every one of you. Hope you are having a great night here on this Friday. And for our tailgating forecast, it looks pretty good on Saturday as well. 75 degrees for an afternoon high, so not all that terrible on the outside. Mostly sunny skies throughout the day, quite comfortable. But in the afternoon, we'll start seeing some increasing cloud cover because it does bring a chance for some rain into the forecast late in the day on Sunday. So that's what's happening here in Knoxville. How about if you're traveling down for the game in Tuscaloosa on Friday, 85 degrees degrees for an afternoon high. That means it's going to be quite warm there, mostly sunny skies. Then on Saturday, we're still at about 83 degrees for an afternoon high under partly cloudy skies, so game time it will be warm as well. And then for your Sunday, on your way home, you could have to deal with some rain. 73 degrees for an afternoon high. Thanks, Kyle. When it comes to ball fans, there's none bigger than this man you're going to meet who spends the entire football season at volunteer landing on his houseboat. Take a look. Boat by boat, the Vol Navy is coming together for another weekend on the water. Some feel truly blessed, but for Coy Caldwell, it's a given. I usually come up here the second week in August and try to get this spot out here. The 65-footer is home for this South Knoxville native for the entire season, now going on 23 years, only missing once due to deployment to Iraq. Go ahead on in. Well, thank you. Oh, you got it outfitted here, don't you? I try to. I try to let people know, you know, who I'm for. But you got all the caps here, don't you? Yep, yep. Uh -huh. uh, a little Afghan over here and pillows. Yeah, you know, there, there looks to be a little female touch over here on the dining room table. Uh, I got a grand niece. So what does he do week after week? Party. And works crossword puzzles. You're living a dream. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Man, what a way to watch the Big Orange all season long, and you've got a ringside seat. Coming up on the Big Orange Tailgate Show, we'll hear from Butch Jones on the challenge that awaits the Vols in Tuscaloosa. Plus, we'll visit with one Vol fan who's already made an appearance on the show. It's Tony Paul, this time with a song geared specifically toward the Bama matchup. The Big Orange Tailgate rolls on after this. The Big Orange Tailgate Show, brought to you by Advanced Financial, Lexus of Knoxville, and Pizza Hut returns right after this.
Right now at Pizza Hut, you can get any two medium pizzas for $6.99 each. Get any toppings, any crust flavor, anything you want for just $6.99 each. And sweeten the deal with a Hershey's Triple Chocolate Brownie for just $5.99. Only at Pizza Hut. One hospital in our region does what others can't. With advanced cancer treatments like Gamma Knife and the region's only stem cell program. The highest level of care for complicated pregnancies. The leader in stroke and rehabilitation that treats the most complex stroke patients throughout East Tennessee with cutting edge robots like this. Only one hospital does all this and more. Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center, a member of Covenant Health. How are you doing today, Charlie? The busier I get, the less I get done. <laughs> yep. Let's go short. Even shorter. Shorter. Perfect. Farm Bureau Insurance is the proud statewide sponsor of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. So I heard about that new offer from AT&T and DirecTV, but they still lock you in to a two-year contract. That could cost you over $2,600, all for temperamental satellite TV service. AT&T and DirecTV, call it a new offer. But it's just the same old thing. Don't fall for AT&T and DirecTV's latest offer. Only Xfinity delivers the fastest internet and the best TV experience with X1. Now, a moment with Professor Phil. Hello, Professor Phil here from Fountain City Finance. This is Carl Bruner, the local expert on reverse mortgages. Carl, it's easier than most people think, isn't it? It really is, Phil. Uh, you still own your home always. Uh, it's a mortgage without a payment. Wow, and even you come to their house, right? I'll be happy to. All right. Call Carl, 687-8200. 687-8200. Best rates, less weight, Fountain City Finance. Right now at Pizza Hut, you can get any two medium pizzas for $6.99 each. Get any toppings, any crust flavor, anything you want for just $6.99 each. And sweeten the deal with a Hershey's Triple Chocolate Brownie for just $5.99. Only at Pizza Hut. Welcome back to the Big Orange Tailgate Show. Brought to you by Lexus of Knoxville. It's easier than you think. Pizza Hut, make it great. Advanced Financial. Welcome back to the Big Orange Tailgate Show. I'm Alan Williams, and you're home away from home. This fifth wheel from Buddy Gred. Isn't this beautiful? All right, Tennessee, Alabama, you got football, you got country music. They go together. Welcome in Tony Paul, the man with two first names, uh, making an encore performance from the Western Carolina game he sang for us then. Now you got a song for about the Alabama game. Yeah, well, it's a song I wrote about, I guess, two or three months ago, and I wrote it, and it's called There's a Storm That's Coming from Tennessee. Well, I'm change it up a little this week for the Tennessee Alabama game to get the ball fans fired up so we'll we'll see how it goes Saturday. all right all right Tony fire us up Stop the stadium rocking, you can hear rocket time. 
right, Tony Paul getting us cranked up for that Alabama game. You you come up with some great lyrics. What where do you come up with that? I just it just comes to me. I mean, I've got so much excitement for Tennessee football, and uh, I'm just trying to make it fun around here and get everybody pumped up. And that's why I do this. And all right, very good. All right, you pumped us up. Go Big Orange. The Vols have had two weeks to prepare for this game, and Butch Jones says they know how good a team they'll face tomorrow. I've spoken about it as getting back to making the rivalry relevant again, uh, being in these football games for us. Uh, we're going to have to play great mistake-free football to get the game in the fourth quarter, and once you get a game into the fourth quarter, as we all know, uh, anything can happen. It's more than just wanting to win or hoping to win. It's investing in victory. It's that belief that you're going to win. We have a lot of competitive young players in our football program. Uh, a lot of our players uh, now understand the investment that it takes to win football games. So I think it's a whole football mindset in terms of, you know, we're going down there to win, going over there to win the football game. And don't tell the ball players they aren't favored to win. They're going into this one with the confidence of that big Georgia win. Yeah, it's definitely a measuring stick. Um, we have a lot of talent. We had talent last year. We got a lot of talent this year. But um, the biggest change with us is our mentality. Uh, we don't hope to win. We expect to win. So um, last year we got it within 14 at a point. Um, we feel like we, we got to go in there and finish it off this year. And speaking of the X's and the O's, I want to remind you about the Extra Point Show seen every Sunday morning on my VLT. Now, the show airs at 10 a.m. You'll find some excellent analysis from the local eight sports staff and the guys from VolQuest.com. Plus, they'll be giving away some great prizes this season as well. All you have to do is tweet during the show using the hashtag Extra Point Show. Still to come on the Big Orange Tailgate Show is our product review segment. We're going to take a look into this fifth wheel from Buddy Greg. You're going to love it. The Big Orange Tailgate Show, brought to you by Advanced Financial, Lexus of Knoxville, and Pizza Hut, returns right after this. Fall is here and cooler weather means time to call Pioneer Heating and Air for routine maintenance on your heat pump. A service call is just $49.95. Plus, ask how your repairs can be worry-free for up to five years. Time for a new unit? There's never been a better time to buy a train home comfort system. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Knoxville's most trusted name in comfort since 1981. Pioneer. At Firehouse Subs, we develop our smoked brisket right here in barbecue country. It's barbecue done right. Firehouse Subs Smokehouse Beef and Cheddar Brisket. It's USDA choice beef brisket, hickory smoke for over 16 hours, and topped with delicious melted cheddar. Then we add award-winning Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It's one smoky sandwich. That is one fine hat. This is a fine hat. <laughs> Firehouse Subs, founded by firemen. Who says desirable can't also be responsible? With 46 standard safety features, a Lexus RX is proof that fun can be good for you. Lease the 2015 RX 350 for $399 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. We can tell you the stats on housing starts and what it feels like to start a family. We can talk about the SEC as it applies to investing and as it applies to the third Saturday in October. And we know that the most important part of banking is the people who are banking on us. Home Federal Bank. You'll know your home. Hey, Vol fans, Local League Sports Director Rick Russo here with Ted Hall and the head coach, Butch Jones. And coach, T119 is all about building success brick by brick. Yeah, Rick, and a big part of that is working harder than the competition day in and day out. Tell you what, Coach, that work ethic you're talking about, that describes our team here. Not just with the big breaking stories, but the most accurate weather coverage, most in-depth sports coverage, and the local stories that our viewers really care about. I've seen that hard work, Ted. When the game is on the line, you guys always deliver. Welcome back to the Big Orange Tailgate Show. Brought to you by Lexus of Knoxville. It's easier than you think. Pizza Hut, make it great. Advanced Financial.
Welcome back to the Big Orange Tailgate Show. I'm Alan Williams. You know, every week we send you a great recipe, and this week is no different. It's from Dead End Barbecue's George Ewart and a little variation on that game day chili. We're going to do some hillbilly chili. It's my favorite chili. Uh, first, we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some onions. About a cup of onions. A cup of green peppers. And we're going to put that in our grill and we're going to uh, caramelize everything and get the onions clear. So the onions have started caramelizing. So what we're going to do now is add a pound of ground beef and a pound of uh, burnt ends. Or you can use uh, beef tips. Then I like to add my dry ingredients to that. So I'll add a uh, tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of uh, of garlic, a tablespoon of uh, chili powder, a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper. We're gonna put this back in. And we're gonna brown up all the meat. Now the meat is nice and brown, and we're gonna add all of our other wet ingredients to it. So we're gonna add one can, 14 ounce can of chili beans, another can of kidney beans, a uh, 14 ounce can of tomato sauce, uh, a can of stewed tomatoes, uh, six ounce tomato paste, two uh, tablespoons of brown sugar, and a dash of apple cider vinegar. This will be a nice thick base. And we're just gonna put it back on the smoker for an hour and let it simmer. So this is a great way for a cold football Saturday. Try to with some cheese and sour cream if you want to, or whatever else you want to do. And that is the best chili you'll ever have, I promise. All right, and to share that recipe, wouldn't it be nice to kind of sit around a nice little motor coach or motor home? Well, we got one for you right here. It's called a fifth wheel, and David Collette of Buddy Greg is here to join us. Now, what is a fifth wheel? A fifth wheel is just a bigger version of a travel trailer, which uh, the fifth wheel hitch is uh, embedded in the bed of the truck instead of being on the, the end of the um, bumper, bumper pull. This is really special. Let's start with, gosh, you got a fireplace here and it puts out some heat. Oh yeah, it puts out heat, a little bit of ambiance. Um, it knocks the chill off in the morning. It's not really for direct heat to heat the whole coach, but it does a little bit. Yeah. Give us a tour of this and tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, yeah, you're having a um, full-size couch right here that also makes a uh, sleeper sofa. You've, uh, when you come over here, you've got a, a televator that pops up and down out of the cabinet of the of the unit. Oh man! And uh, Corian countertops with convection microwave, residential fridge with an oven. Mm -hmm. um, uh, big big old king size bed in there that you kind of it's elevated up and uh, all kinds of neat things. Oh yeah, king size bed. It's got a washer and dryer connection, um, slide out TV. Very nice, huge, huge closet space. How, how large is this? This one right here is about 38 foot. Wow, wow. So, you know, you, you hook it onto your truck or whatever. I guess I would say you'd, a dually would be the perfect thing, wouldn't it? Yes, sir. 350, it's, this thing's about 16,000 pounds. Wow. So you need a big truck. Wow, but it is plush and it's just like your home away from home. Yes, sir. It, it, a lot of people live in these things year round, so. Oh, wow. Well, David, thank you so much for showing us around here at this uh, uh, interesting home away from home because, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to take a nap right here on the couch. My, my pleasure. <laughs> All right. All right, now it's time for your Comcast Triple Play, three keys to victory for the volunteers. Triple Play for Saturday brought to you by Xfinity. X1 from Xfinity will change the way you experience sports. The first key for the Vols is to believe they can win against a team like Bama. The win over Georgia should help with that confidence. Secondly, the Vols need to have an error-free offensive day. Alabama is good at capitalizing on offensive errors like they did last week against Texas A&M. Third, the Vols' defense must tackle better than they have in recent games. Butch Jones stressed better tackling was a key going forward. We'll be back to wrap up this edition of the Big Orange Tailgate right after this. The Big Orange Tailgate Show, brought to you by Advanced Financial, Lexus of Knoxville, and Pizza Hut, returns right after this.
Hi, this is Tommy Spencer with Senior Home Assistance of Tennessee. We consider it an honor to provide senior care for your loved ones at home. Give us a call at 865-769-4170 and let us help your loved ones live life at home. In the next five years, more than half of the jobs in Tennessee will require post-secondary school credentials. WGU Tennessee will fill a critical gap in our higher education landscape. More than 1,000 HCA employees have attended WGU, and that number is growing every day. Flexibility, recognizing competence, it's easier on the wallet. That's a pretty powerful combination. Having this degree changed my life, and it changed my family's life. Check out WGU Tennessee today. What would you do if you're in your late 50s or early 60s and suddenly you're out your job and you're out your insurance? You can't pay your mortgage. You can't pay your rent. What are you gonna do? In just a short time, your whole life is gonna change. Samaritan Place is the only place that serves seniors 24 seven who are homeless and in crisis. Claim freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture. Seven-piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free layaway, same-day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight in Knoxville. 737 Level Road, just north of the Harley-Davidson. Phone 675-8888. A granola bar? You're snacking like an eight-year-old. What? Here's a Bojangles cheddar bow. Start snacking like a grown-up. Huh? Yeah. Come try the cheddar bow. Bojangles, it's cheddar bow time. Head to varsityallaccess.com to vote for the whole federal bank player of the week. Then watch local white news at six every Thursday to find out who won. The Varsity All Access Player of the Week is brought to you by Home Federal Bank. You'll know you're home. At Senior Home Assistance of Tennessee, we're a team of dedicated professionals that specializes in caring for your loved ones and touching lives. Give us a call at 865-769-4170 and let us help your loved ones live life at home. Welcome back to the Big Orange Tailgate Show. Brought to you by Lexus of Knoxville. It's easier than you think. Pizza Hut, make it great. Advance Financial. Before the Vols ever hit the field, be it practice or game day, Roger Frazier and his crew already have. We're the service industry for the athletic department. The coaches script the practice and then they provide that to us and, and my guys and they kind of keep practice moving. For 32 seasons, Frazier has served as UT's head equipment manager. I was a student manager here and just happened to be in the right place at the right time and Coach Majors asked me one day, I never thought about it. I said, what do you think about being the equipment manager? And I said, let me think about it, and here I am. From Majors to Fulmer, then Kiffin and Dooley, and now Butch Jones, no equipment manager in the SEC has been doing it longer. Of the five coaches Frazier has worked under, preparing for a Jones practice, he says, is easily the most demanding. We like to call it organized chaos. <laughs> Jones's teams play fast, meaning they're going to practice fast as well. Practice goes how we go, and we are flying around, our kids are flying around, they have to be. So if, if, if something we don't have ready, practice slows down. Every minute is critical, and so we've got to be on top of making sure that no reps are wasted, drills are set up, every spot's correct. So it's, it's, a lot, it's, it's very intense. Now the reach of the equipment team is far beyond cones and sleds. Anything the athlete uses or wears falls on their shoulders. So when the UT Athletic Department said goodbye to Adidas and hello Nike, well, that made for one very interesting summer. The house literally burned to the ground. And you're starting from zero, you know, quarterback towels, wristbands, socks, warm-ups, t-shirts. Uh, I mean, you name it, it's, you didn't have, we didn't have any of it. We would have a truck pull up that have 600 cartons on it. And that's for all sports, not just football, but it's a heck of an undertaking. But taking a page from Butch's book, these guys did it box by box, helping transform UT's brand.
A reminder about tomorrow's game. The game is in Tuscaloosa. Kickoff is at 3.30 Eastern time right here on WVLT CBS. And after the game, join us on Local 8 Sports for all the highlights and analysis. Thank you for watching the Big Orange Tailgate Show this week. Go Big Orange. But before we leave you, let's hear a little bit more from Tony Paul. Thanks for watching the Big Orange Tailgate Show. Brought to you by Lexus of Knoxville. It's easier than you think. Pizza Hut, make it great. Advanced Financial. Showers are on the way for part of our weekend. Details at 11. My moderate to severe chronic plaque psoriasis made a simple trip to the grocery store anything but simple. So finally, I had an important conversation with my dermatologist about Humira. He explained that Humira works inside my body to target and help block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to my symptoms. In clinical trials, most adults saw 75% skin clearance, and the majority were clear or almost clear in just four months. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Ask your dermatologist about Humira, because with Humira, clear skin is possible. Down in Texas, at a three-generation-old smokehouse overseen by a pit master who's been smoking meats for over 40 years, Arby's brisket is smoking for 13 long, hot, dark hours. Seems like a lot of effort to put into something like a cut of meat. Seems that way because it is that way. And it is that way because it's Arby's. Arby's, we have the meat. We know that there are fortunes to be made outside the Fortune 500. And there are plenty of streets as important as Wall Street. And our job is to be people who know a lot about money. And to be people who know a lot about